Hello and welcome to Aspira's video tutorial series. In this particular video, I will be showing you how to create an account and get registered with Aspira. Uh, on the homepage, you'll notice on the top right, there's a link labeled create an account. Just click on that link and that takes you directly to our registration page. Uh, something to keep in mind is that every field on this page is mandatory other than phone number. That is the only field that you have the option of putting something in there or not every other field does need something filled in in that particular field so you just enter in your email create an, you know whatever email you choose to use uh, create a password uh, for your Aspira account and then uh, here you can enter in uh, your own security questions so you don't have to worry about a drop down list of uh, pre-designed questions that you may or may not know the answer to this allows you to create your own question uh, and the answer to that appropriate question and this is what will be used if you ever forget your password so when you go to the login screen you click on the link uh, I forgot my password uh, it'll bring up the question that you put in here just supply the answer that you uh, also entered in here and a new temporary password will then be emailed to you to the email that you um, also filled in on this page so once you're done with that just <clears throat> go ahead and continue on and, and fill in your name your address uh, again the phone number is optional and then uh, put in your your licensing state the profession uh, the professional license that you hold uh, select that um, your license number and the expiration date for your license uh, now let's say you don't have a license at, at this time can you use our site absolutely uh, what you would do if you do not have a license um, currently is just on the state instead of the state that you're licensed in just select the state that you live that's fine for profession just go down and click on other and you can put in you know intern student uh, whatever you choose uh, just something needs to go in there for license number, again, just any kind of identifying number that you choose to put in here is fine. This will be printed on your certificate of completion, so you can put, uh, again, an employee number, a intern number, um, or you can just put simply the word none or NA. Uh, that's fine as well. Uh, for expiration date, uh, just click on the uh, the date picker here with the little calendar icon, and just select any you know date in the near future. Doesn't really matter which date you choose. Um, that's fine long something is selected and then you've got the, your um, how did you hear about Aspira and just a whole list of referral sources uh, if for some reason you know the referral source that brought you to our site is not listed here just simply click on the other then another box will appear and you can just type in whatever referral source um, you have that brought you to our website then you uh, must click uh, and check this box. Uh, I agree with the Spira Terms of Service. If you want to read our Terms of Service, just click on this link. It'll pull up that page. Once you're done reviewing all this information, just use the, the back feature of your browser to get back to the um, registration page. And then the second box is optional if you choose to uh, receive emails from a Spira or not. Uh, if you do uh, want to receive emails from Aspira, rest assured you will not be inundated with emails. Uh, just if on occasion, if we change the discounts that we're offering, we want to keep our customers informed on the latest uh, discounts and uh, offers that we're providing, and we'll just you know send out a quick email um, showing you what that is. So that's totally up to you whether you want to receive those or not. And then once you're done with all that, just click on the button create an account and you'll be taken directly to your My Courses page uh, designed for you. Um, and to find out more information about the My Courses feature, uh, go to, again, our video tutorial series page and just select the video uh, using the My Courses feature and it'll go into much more detail on how to use that. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to use the Contact Us tab uh, via email or phone number. Either way, we'll be happy to help you and answer whatever questions you may have. Uh, thank you for using the Spirit Continuing Education and have a great day.